Well, welcome back everyone to another Monarch First Edition Booster Box. This one is for Philip L. Philip, you've waited longer than anyone else because this is our last box of Monarch First Edition that we are gonna be opening. But first, last night I forgot, uh, last night we celebrated 2,500 subscribers on this channel. Uh, and then while we were so celebrating that, we hit 3,000 subscribers on the channel. So we celebrated that as well. Uh, but I forgot that I had these uh, Fry the Eggs altars to give away. I just completely forgot. Sorry, Fry the Eggs. Um, so we're gonna give them away right now to the people who were signed up last night. Uh, that way I uh, don't forget to do that. So uh, these are sweet. Fry the eggs on Instagram. Uh, look the look up fry the eggs. Uh, great altars. They do a really really great job. Uh, this is a, a viscerai set, complete with a rune chant token and a nebula nebula blade. So uh, pretty excited about that to be able to give those away. Uh, they did a, a really cool altar for me too of um, of Cassi that I'm keeping for myself um, of Cassi and then uh, the Centauri sabers as those are my uh, my, you know, my, my favorite kind of old school hero here. I'll make sure I don't knock over all my new, you guys like the new display setup? I'm, I'm working on trying to make this channel a little bit better for you. So let's give this away uh, to those of you who were signed up last night. Thank you guys for celebrating with me. Uh, this is what we did last night. Let's do it again. Drum roll, please. This is gonna be one winner for all three because then you have the complete set there. You know what I mean? So here we go. Winner is... Alexis Martinez. Congratulations, uh, Alexis Martinez. Uh, I am excited to send you that stuff. Thank you to Fry the Eggs. Look them up on Instagram. Great flesh and blood altars. One of the one of the very few people who is uh, who are doing uh, flesh and blood altars. So uh, cool. So now we got that going. We've got everything ready now. We can open up this box of Monarch First Edition for our patron, Philip L. Philip, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for allowing me to open your box of Monarch First Edition. Uh, I am super excited. I hope that we pull ourselves the good old library uh, in the close, the last opening. This is like uh, 31 openings we did for patrons. Um, I think instead of heading to Monarch, uh, so Monarch Unlimited Supply, let's talk a little bit about Monarch Unlimited Supply. It seems like Monarch Unlimited Supply is just not not here yet. Um, I'm guessing what happened is that the first wave was a lot smaller than they anticipated or, or were able to get to us. Uh, and so as a result, it just seems like the first wave is really small. Oh, a foil Genesis off the bat. That's pretty awesome. Um, so it seems like the, the supply is pretty limited right now on the unlimited front. Uh, that's not to say the boxes are expensive. Boxes are cheap as dirt right now, even below map. Um, map is minimum advertisable price. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if LSS kind of, you know, does something about that. Cause there's a lot of product that is being sold under that minute minimum price. You can get boxes for like 70 bucks on CCV player. Um, mm, that's not good. And I'll tell you why. I mean, it's good if you're a player, I guess, but if you're a store, you're, you know, you're just barely making money on after shipping on that and fees, 15%, 12% on TCG player, 15% on eBay, uh, after, you know, you're barely making money on that. If you're a store, sometimes you're not, Ooh, Tome of Torment. Uh, and LSS wants stores to be able to make money on their product. So I really think they need to, I think they'll probably kind of reach out and say, hey, look, you can't sell it for this low. It's not allowed. And I know there's been some people on Facebook who just didn't know. Um, I mean, it's, I guess it's technically good for players to get boxes at cheaper prices. Although if the play, the places that you're getting boxes from can't stay in business as a result, is that really better? Um, anyway. So anyway, we, I think we're gonna probably hold off on Monarch Unlimited open soul food. Man, we're on a we're on a chain of, of majestics here. Uh, until I can get some more products to, to kind of move. I, I just didn't get that many boxes. So um, we will uh, we will see if I can get some more boxes before we do Unlimited. I am gonna do a week of WTR uh, Unlimited. I, I was able to get uh, some boxes of WTR Unlimited. Uh, some are still, some of the openings even are available on the, the website, cabdansmarket.com and patrons, you do get yourself $5 off of those. So make sure you uh, check the patron, patron post for that code. 
Um, so we'll do some, some, oh, exude confidence. Ooh, I'm going to talk about this card one of these days because it's going to, it's spicy. It's a good card. Uh, that nourishing emptiness, one of those two, I think is going to kind of be a breakout card in the set. Um, this, uh, maybe more nourishing emptiness. We'll see. Uh, engulfing light, tremor and endless small. Uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know. Monarch Unlimited cards, you know, look great. We talked a little bit about it on stream last night. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> In the close. The last one. A Phantasmal Footsteps. <laughs> Let's go. Illusionist. The best legendary in the set. Oh, pristine. Sh nah, a, little, a little edging down there in the bottom. A little too marked down there. And a little bit up there too. Uh, but centering looks pretty dang good. Man, a phantasmal footsteps in the last box on the channel for patrons. Uh, that's not, we'll still do trade. I'll probably, I'll probably still, um, I just can't get cases right now. I'm, I'm working on it, but smash with big tree. Smash, smash, smash. Um, so uh, Valiant Thrust. Uh, we'll, we'll do some case breaks here. Oh, my dogs are going, you're going to have to deal with them. They're going to go, they're going to be loud in the background. Um, but, uh, we've got Enigma Chimera. Rouse the Ancients, another, what a box. One, two, three, four Majestics already. And a Foil George and a Phantasm Footsteps. That's good. That's really good. That is really good really good underworldly bellow um man we are sitting pretty right now all right bill you're halfway through the box it's free free stuff now i mean it's just absolutely free stuff um let's see what else we can get you impenetrable belief more rares uh so yeah uh what was the thing i don't remember my dog's distracting me welcome to the panel everyone distractions uh, oh, blood tribute. The, the artwork is changed in unlimited. If you didn't know that. And these are like $20, $30 now. George didn't think that that was a good investment, but I don't think it's a terrible one. Honestly, I think, uh, I think it could be up there in line with like the, the talisman of dousing, right? Like, I mean, it could, it could hit that kind of card because it's so different and they're not going to print it again. Um, I don't know. We talked about phantasmal footsteps last night too. Oh, another Majestic. This box is so good. The only thing that can make this box better is a library. That would be, can you imagine hitting a library on the last box? Oh, I want it to happen. Herald of Tenacity. Uh, we talked about Phantasmal Footsteps last night, really thinking that it is going to be for sure and locked in as, because of the calling, because of the way that the, the uh, because of the way that um, Illusionist is performing in the meta. Oh my gosh, another Majestic. Where was this box last night? One, two, three, four, five, six Majestics with six packs left. Oh, Philip. Philip, you sly dog. It was worth waiting for sure, Philip. Bolt of Courage. If we get like a double Majestic Rainbow Foil box here, that's going to set it over. What, probably one of the best boxes of all the box openings. We did hit at least one other Phantasmal Footsteps, so maybe even two, uh, in the box openings. Parable of Humility. Did you watch my Prism uh, deck deck yet? Um, so we think that Phantasmal Footsteps is going to lock in because of the success of Prism so far. Uh, and I think that, I, I, I really think that that's going to be true. I think Prism's the, the big breakout character hero of uh, this set. Dreadside, good golly, this box. Oh, it doesn't even matter that the prices are tanking because the box is so spicy. It doesn't even matter. Box prices, I mean, like, what? What is happening? All right, we have two packs left, Philip. Thank you so much for your support. Philip, let's do this. Let's do it. Come on, give me a library. Come on, give us that library. Give us that library. Come on. Oh, rising solar tide's not gonna do it. All right, Philip, last pack, my friend. Thank you so much for the support. All the patrons, thank you for the support. We will be back at it with uh, patron packs and that kind of thing, uh, starting sometime this week. Uh, Dread Screamer, 
Phantasmify. Ooh, not not great in the clothes there, but you did yourself well, Philip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven majestic, plus your foil George, which is you know, it's a great one, and then a phantasmal footsteps for the best legendary in the set uh on the last video for patrons box openings uh thank you guys so much for watching the channel if you're looking to do box openings uh patrons check your patron posts uh we are starting to schedule this is it so i'm starting to get think through the next month uh hope you guys have a great day remember to be kind to the people around you caffeinesmarket.com uh has the blitz decks and and uh the box openings and i do have some sealed boxes there as well uh we'll get back to having free commons once we start opening more unlimited stuff uh the rest of you guys i hope you have a great day and remember to be kind to the people around you